Hey, what's up guys, it's JL Martinez. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys five tips that you should know when doing Instacart. Instacart tip number one, have a portable battery charger. You don't know how many times that I've been in a store and my phone dies. It's happened to me twice. The reason why I say you should have a portable battery charger is because you don't wanna be in the middle of an order, you just focused, you're on your grind, and then your phone starts to give you notifications. Hey, 15% left, 10% left, 5% left. I've had that moment where I'm in the middle of shopping and I'm about to check out, and literally the second to last item, maybe the last item, my phone dies. So what do I do? I just go right back into my car and charge my phone, or however long it takes, and hope that the groceries that I leave in the store, no one takes. Um, so to avoid that issue, I try to have a portable battery charger with me at all times. Um, you can get them anywhere for 10, 15 bucks. The really good ones will be like 20 bucks maybe, but um, that's definitely a must have. Instacart tip number two. Try to shop at stores where you're familiar with. So when you're doing Instacart shopping, you wanna stick to one to two stores, maybe three that you're familiar with. The reason why I say this is because you want to be familiar with everything. You want to know where most of the things are because once you get familiar with the regular items like the milks, the pastas, then there won't be any issues when you get a, for example, a foreign item or just an, an item that's foreign to you that you've never purchased for yourself or you've never seen before. The more familiar you are with the store, the better your shopping experience will be and the smoother it'll go. Instacart tip number three. Try to create a personal greeting with the customer. Before I shop for the customer, I typically send them a text. It goes a little like this. Hey, my name's George, I'll be your shopper today. Just a heads up, some of the items might not be in stock. So the message is gonna go something like this. Hello, my name's George, I'm gonna be your Instacart shopper for today. Now, just a heads up, some of the items might not be in stock. I'm gonna try my best to find a replacement for those items. And if I can't find that, is it okay for me to make replacements to some of the items? And that's it. The reason why I ask that is because some people do not want a replacement whatsoever. Um, that way, like if I ask in the beginning before I start shopping, that way there won't be any, any issues with the order. Because there's been numerous times where I'm shopping for an order and then a customer says, hey, actually I changed my mind on this. Can I get this instead? Or maybe they didn't like your uh, replacement that you made. Maybe if an item that you were looking for is not in stock. They didn't like the replacement you made. They're like, hey, can you actually get this one instead? So maybe you're at the one side of the store. Now you got to go all the way back to fulfill that replacement. So to avoid all that, just send them a text right before you shop. It'll clear things up between everybody. Instacart tip number four. This one's very important. Try to review your list before shopping. The reason why I say this is because you want to familiarize yourself. I use that word a lot. You want to familiarize yourself with the list. That way you know what kind of layout you're going to go when you're getting the items in the store. I typically shop a certain way. So based on whatever entrance I come through, I'll start either where the meats are or where the dairy is. Um, it depends on the store. Sometimes the fruits are the first items you see. So that's why you review the list. Another reason why you want to review the list is because just because there's items grouped together in the list, that doesn't mean that there's not another straggler item on the bottom part of the list. Uh, there's been times where I'd had to get like similar brands of chips and then another brand of chip is all the way on the bottom part of the list. So during the part of my shopping, I already got all these chips and then now I have to go back in the store to get the other um, chips because I already moved on. I already moved on the list. So to avoid going back and forth and all that mess, just review your list. It'll be a lot easier for you. Instacart tip number five. The final tip I'm gonna give you in this video is just ask them if they wanna add anything to their order. Some customers tip percentage wise. So what you wanna do with that is ask them if they wanna add anything else to their order. That way, they see that you're paying attention to detail and maybe you'll get a better tip after that. 
Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, I'll let you go. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace.